Well, good morning, everybody. It is a great day for travel, and it is a great day for a new port for us here in Aruba. That's right. It's the A and the ABC Islands, Aruba. Believe it or not, we've never been here before. Uh, we have a long port day today. Uh, we actually got in early, and they started letting people off the ship about an hour before our scheduled departure of 8.30, um, or disembarkation of 8.30. Uh, but we have until 9.30 tonight to be back on the ship. So a very long port day. And we are going to be doing a lot of beach hopping, snorkeling, seeing what other trouble we can find, as Brent likes to say. Um, we had a good time last night at the 80s party. That was a lot of fun, of course. Music, we're, if anything music, we're going to be there. Anything 80s, we're going to be there. So combine the two, you know we had to be there. It was a lot of fun. Um, I will have to throw this out there, though, and uh, you know anybody who <laughs> who was there, um, I'm sorry. It's White Snake. Here I go again. Not here I go again on my own. Um, there was a contest, and you know I, I'm I'm competitive, and uh, yeah, it was a name that that tune thing, and and the um, the DJ when when we were naming the song, I knew it right away and I said it and, and nope, that's wrong and went back and forth and they, they said it was here I go again on my own, not here I go again. And so, yeah, I protested a little bit, but anyway. <laughs> hung out for, I hung out for a little while, met, met a, uh, uh, two couples from um, Houston and hung out till the wee hours of the morning. So I'm a little, uh, a little bit tired, so we will cut this short. I was tired last night. I had hit my wall, so I had yeah. to retire a little bit earlier around midnight, so. I kept, I kept rolling, I shouldn't have, but I did. So we are gonna cut this a little short and we're gonna get out there to Aruba and see what we can, uh, what kind of trouble we can find. Right, guys so we just got over here to is it eagle beach mel yep and just wanted to show you real quickly the car we got so it is island rides you can see their information right there and melanie said that it was 115 dollars for 9 a.m to 9 p.m and it ends up we actually don't have to be back on the ship we thought it would have to be back at 9 30 but it's not till 10 30. So hopefully we'll be able to keep the car a little longer and not cost us any more or very little more. We'll see. But anyway, just giving you that information. Guys, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this water. Look at how just clear and pristine this water is. Okay, so on our, I guess, second stop, second stop, where are we? We're at the Butterfly Farm. I don't know much about it, but I like butterflies, and it's listed as a popular attraction here in Aruba, so let's check it out. All right.
over here. I will show you. Okay. All right. My colleague will show you. Hi. Now, she did give us a, a little warning. Uh, well, first of all, uh, you should have seen the pricing back there. If not, I will put it in right here. But uh, also, that first of all, be careful because sometimes the butterflies will land on the ground. So to walk carefully. Uh, secondly, do not touch anything. Do not touch the butterflies. Do not touch any of the fruits or the plants, flowers, anything like that. Um, and that if they land on you, that's fine. Um, you can continue on and let them let them uh, sit on you, lay on you. But again, do not touch. There was one on your house. Gentlemen, there was a butterfly that landed on you. You can still make a wish. You can wish for a lottery. Uh, <laughs> I've got all the all the wish I need right, right here. Right. <laughs> So what did you think of the butterfly farm? I thought it was cute. I, I enjoyed seeing the butterflies and the flowers and it was a nice little stop. Yeah, it was pretty cool. There were some, there were some, uh, some pretty butterflies. Um, I learned a lot, <laughs> learned a lot about, about the butterflies. Um, yeah, the little educational piece was yeah, nice. Yeah. The tours that they give, a tour, you yeah. kind of stand in one place, but. Um, but I had what, two land on me? Yeah. Mm-hmm to land on me and of course so that means you get to make a wish yeah all the guys who are wearing navy blue had butterflies land on them that was something yeah, they said something about that they um, thought that you were a female butterfly something like that yeah so photographic. Yeah, I, I think you know if, if i what, think it's what, how am i trying to say that um photogenic but not what, photogenic isn't that refer to people only i think so probably yeah it was nice it was a beautiful place it to was photograph. beautiful <laughs> yes that's what she's trying to say comment below and tell me what i'm trying to say and show how st i'm stupid <laughs> um but yeah yeah so it was uh 19 per person for adults I, I like i said i think i put that in there um that it had uh prizes for adults and for children i didn't pay attention to the children but you should have seen that in the previous uh, uh segment so anyway, we are now, where are we? We're at Trey Trappi Beach. Okay. T-R-E-S-T-R-A-P-I. All right, let me turn this around. Again, look at that beautiful water. Okay, so snorkeling spot number two of the day. At any rate, the last place was supposed to be really good for um, seeing sea turtles. And obviously, if you saw the, the footage, we did not see any there. Did see some pretty cool fish. Um, not really sure what all they were, but they were, they were cool. Not your average looking ones. The one that really got me was the, um, there was one that, that would swim on its side. Um, it was kind of kind of weird looking to me. But at any rate, um, we'll see, hopefully see some cool things out here.
right, guys, so beach number two on our beach tour. And where are we, Mel? Arashi. Arashi, okay. And if you pan over there to the far right, you'll see the California Lighthouse there at the northern end of the island. And uh, although I will put it in the video, a correction, the last beach that uh, where we were, Melanie said we were where? Initially? A tree trappy. That's what I put into the GPS, and that's where it said we were, but we were really at Boca Catalina. Catalina. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so just know that. Like I said, I should have. Put, I'll put it below in, in that that part of the video for the correction, but just to mention it here as well. So before I go out and do a little bit uh, more snorkeling over here at, again, what's the name of the beach? Arashi. Arashi. I, that should be easy enough for me to remember. Um, we're going to sit down and have a quick um, quick snack and uh, and really just to get a table for, Mel for Melanie to sit while I do some snorkeling. All right, so we are just leaving Arashi Beach. Yeah. Um, Melanie just hung out and had a snack. I had a snack, had that ceviche. Wasn't any good, to be honest with you. And the chicken tenders were... Passable. Passable. <laughs> you know, there's no other options around here, so I feel like they don't have a lot of competition to be good. So, it is what it is. It's bar beach food. Beach bar food. Beach bar food, yeah. Um, kind of a cute little place, I guess. It was okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's the only one on this end that has, like, of the Trey Trappy, Boca Catalina, and Arashi Beach, which are known for, like, their snorkeling areas. They're not, like, where all the high-rise hotels are. They're more public beaches, but this is the only one that does have facilities with the uh, restroom. They have like a little shower area and the food and beverage. So, yeah, I just got a little work done and uh, caught up on some emails while he snorkeled. We had a snack and uh, a few drinks. I did order a $14 Tipsy Mermaid just because it sounded cute and took a sip and then promptly spilled the rest of it on myself. So that's always fun. <laughs> so how was that $14 sip? Um, it was all right. Not my drink of choice, but I kind of, I don't know. It was okay. It was good. I couldn't tell how strong it was from that one sip, I'll be honest. So unfortunate that I didn't get to um, refresh with a full drink, but it's all right. So. Well, my Coke Zero tasted like Coke Zero, so, yeah. and I didn't spill it. Um, but as far as the snorkeling, yeah, I don't, I, this area was, is not good for snorkeling. At least it wasn't today. Um, but it was very murky until you got a, a good ways out. And then it was, it was okay. It's not, not as clear as it was at the other place. Um, not nearly as, as clear. Um, but the only other thing is this beach, when you get into the, the water is very rocky. And I didn't realize that with it being as, as murky as it was, I ended up, when I first got it, got out there, I ended up being knocked into a, um, a rock, a large rock formation that was under the water. And, um, and then when, when I was, you know, swimming around, you could not see more than like three feet in front of you, two, three feet. So as you're, you know, you're swimming up and you're about, you know, you end up coming up on a, on a rock and you know, almost getting, uh, swimming into the rock. But, um, but anyway, yeah, the, the snorkeling wasn't real good here. That. Well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize. So, Normally no big deal. Normally it is. Normally it is. This is one of the areas where the tour groups come. Where are we headed next? Let's maybe stop at the ostrich farm, hit that up, and then we'll see. All right. Well, it is 2.15, so we've still got another, what, seven, 
hours? Seven and a half? Yeah, well, we have three and a half till our dinner. Okay. On the beach. All right. Well, let's get at it. All right. So we were at a butterfly farm earlier, and now we're at an ostrich farm. And strangely enough, um, <laughs> we we're driving in. No, it's obvious there. So we. So. We're coming Some in, sort of and there's a sign to slow down that, it, that, that it's a minefield. So, obviously, just a way to get you to slow down coming in here, but it was kind of funny. The first thing was, what? There's mines? Those aren't ostriches. And right there is your pricing. Adults fifteen dollars, kids eight. Actually, I can answer just love you. And when you guys see me start to run, you know what to do. <laughs> run faster. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so we are just now leaving, the, uh, coming out of the ostrich farm. Uh, it was pretty cool, it was pretty interesting. I gotta admit though, ostriches are not the prettiest birds in the world. Um, I, in fact, I don't know of any birds that are uglier. <laughs> it was a fun little diversion. It was a different, yeah. different thing to do. It took about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. Um, little, yeah. Little pro tip, mm -hmm. I think, though, is uh, so we, they, they, uh, he was feeding them as we were going, and Melanie asked, with, you know, they do tours of starting at what time? It's 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the hour. So every hour, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., but they only do the feedings at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And so I would definitely try to do one of those because you get a cool little photo op with it. Yep, yep. Uh, you Which know, we you saw. saw. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen the, that, the, those videos. So, yeah, so um, I think that definitely, if you didn't have that, I'm not sure it would be worth it. And they do have, um, uh, what did he said? There's eight pins and, um, Right now, 15, 15 ostrich. ostrich and 12 emu. emu. And then there's parrots uh, and chickens and um, peacocks. peacocks running around. But yep. So anyway, All right, it was a pretty cool place. little diversion. Oh, so sorry. no, it's good. It's good. Let's head out. Stop number six, I believe it is, on our Aruban tour today is the Natural Bridge. This is one of those things where people should be better stewards of our environment and not throw plastic cup tops and paper and trash into the ocean. Because <laughs> that's sad. It is so picturesque, if not for that.
What is going on guys? Brent and Melanie, also known as Dizarella. Just wanted to take a quick time out and say thank you for your views. Um, but we do have a request. Please give us a like. A share. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. We could really use the help growing our channel. We hope you're enjoying the content. Please give us a comment down below on any and all of our videos. Help us grow that algorithm. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much guys. Take care. Thanks. All right, guys, so uh, we are headed to our last stop. We, of course, we ended up spending a little extra time um, at a couple of spots, mainly because of my snorkeling. Uh, we wanted to throw in uh, some other places to show you guys around, including like the land bridge or the natural bridge. Is that what it's called? Yes. And, um, and I had um, to make a Starbucks stop. Yes, and I wasn't going to. Well, actually, yes, I was going to say that. So we are now late getting to our dinner which is passions on the beach uh, which is apparently a really nice uh restaurant uh right on the beach so i am looking forward to that and as we're walking to get there let me turn this around and show you what's going on out here on the beach it's absolutely beautiful guys we, we were seated and give you an idea of the menu So we were done, done with dinner at Passions on the Beach, and we will do a recap of that here shortly, but um, we are short on time. We've got to get the, uh, the car turned in by nine o'clock, and so we've got about 45 minutes um, to get there, and it's a 15 minute drive. So we were just going to swing down here to the Palm Beach area and uh, show you guys a little bit of the uh, nightlife uh, uh, shopping district area, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but we will get you that review um, of the restaurant, of our dinner, in a little bit. This area has some different vendors out, but the whole area has lots of shopping, um, restaurants and bars. This is the nightlife area of Aruba. It's always kind of a party down here, always happening. Uh, lots of cool little open air venues, live music. You'll find great dining, desserts. Aruba really has a great food scene. A lot of people want to come to Aruba for all-inclusives, but there aren't that many, and that's because they're, it's a very safe island, number one, and also because the food scene, the dining scene, you know, you're missing out if you don't come to these different local restaurants and really enjoy the, the local cuisine and the local dining. So you were saying something earlier about the uh, Sopranos Piano Bar? Yeah. That so, it's, a, it's a really popular location? Yeah, Sopranos Piano Bar. That's a, if we had more time, I know that we would enjoy spending some time there. We'll have to come back. <laughs> that looks like it'd be fun. And of course, Palm Beach is also on the other side of the road here. 
not over here. I mean, there's there's more over here, of course, but back this way are your a lot of your major hotels that are right on the Palm Beach beach. Uh, of course, another great beach here in Aruba. Uh, so you've got Hilton, you've got Rio, you've got Barcelo, you've got Holiday Inn, which surprisingly is a great all Aruba hotel, um, or a very good one. You've got the Ritz. Um, so quite a few different chain hotels here. A very popular area to stay, and of course walking distance to this nightlife area. So really great. Um, and you're really only about five minutes from Eagle Beach, um, and then about five to ten minutes the other way to the areas where we were earlier, Arashi and Coca Catalina and Tra Trey Trappi. Uh, so you're in a great location, kind of in between there. Yeah. All right, we want to continue walking? Um, I think this is most of it, right? You can kind of see. So obviously you got your uh, your vendors here with uh, all of your uh, um, Aruba t-shirts and uh, trinkets and everything like that for you to buy and take home to the kids. <laughs> um, obviously, like we like we said, the party district with the uh, music going on behind us, loud music, um, live music is what I was trying to say. Let's see. So there's uh, in front of the, this over to our right, um, they're doing some construction on the street out there. I think we got a, a picture. Uh, Melanie took a picture I'll throw in here, which is kind of gumming things up a little bit um, as far as the traffic in this area. So we had a little issue getting, getting over here, had to be detoured a few different ways. But I'm sure you know that'll be done pretty much in no time. But if you are gonna be here uh, anytime you know, soon, we are here at the end of October, um, just be aware of that. All right, so it is about 10 minutes after nine. We made it to, uh, back to return the car at exactly nine o'clock on the dot. Um, and we are now headed back over here to the beautiful Celebrity Beyond. And I will say something, uh, we did something, I did something that never done before. Uh, and this is why I think a lot of people comment about I always say, be sure you keep your um, passport well, on you. I gotta say, really, you should probably keep a copy of your passport and leave your passport on the yeah. ship in the safe. I was gonna say, and or take a copy. a copy of it, which would also work. Um, should work because I lost my my card. But yeah, he lost his stateroom card. Yeah, we think so. it's probably somewhere in in the bags. We did have to take a a rolling bag, a piece of luggage. Uh, with us because uh, you know we were doing certain things and then we were gonna have we had that nice dinner so we had to be able to change so we took uh, some luggage with lots us lots of snorkel gear so. snorkel gear etc so I you know probably it's in there somewhere we come with lots of stuff but we could not uh, lots of baggage we, we both come with lots of baggage <laughs> um, so at any rate just wanted to comment about that and once again we will when we get on board take a few minutes and do a review of our dinner later that same evening good evening well that's a wrap on our aruba day so we thought we would give kind of a recap of a review of our dinner and a recap of our day in general what our thoughts are on aruba so first of all dinner passions on the beach um that was kind of a very special experience been recommended to me by one of our advisors who is an aruba expert kim dixon shout out 
And it's great. Uh, yeah. And so, um, which she helped me with the whole itinerary today based on what we wanted to do and see. Um, but yeah, so I think it was a really great dinner. I'd highly yeah. recommend, especially for a special occasion. There were quite a few anniversaries and birthdays being celebrated. Um, dinner was good. So we, we had two appetizers. We shared the coconut shrimp and the shrimp spring rolls. Yep. I thought both were good. I like the spring rolls better than the shrimp. I think I like the shrimp better. Yeah. So either way, whatever. It was good. Yeah. No, they were both good. Absolutely good. good. And then for our main entrees, you had the golden corvina. Mm -hmm. Is that what it was called? Yep. It was a pan fried fish. Let's see. It was, well, now where is it? There it goes. Pan fried filet, um, a Reuben, I'm sorry, I should have had this ready. A Reuben vegetables, artichoke, Caribbean yam, and creamy caper sauce. Mm-hmm. And it was good. Um, I, I ate about half of it. I, I just wasn't hungry. Um, I ate about half of it. And again, you're going to hear this from me all the time, and I do apologize. Um, but it was it was salty. I understand it's seafood, so it was going to it was going to be salty. Um, but I mean, getting past that, it was it it tasted very good. Um, but just wasn't hungry. So the the vegetables were darn good. Those were really, really good. Agree. Um, and I had the lamb chops, which came with golden roasted potatoes and vegetables. And I think our vegetables were the same. They were basically yeah. grilled zucchini and squash and maybe some peppers in there. Um, very good. Something we eat a lot at home. So um, that was good. The lamb, uh, it was three bones of the lamb. And so one thing I really like that they do on the menu is some of the items you can get in small portion sizes. Um, and they had small and regular portion yeah, sizes. And um, and we both got the small. Yeah. And which was plenty. I'm so yeah. glad we got just the small. Absolutely. It was plenty. And you know, honestly, because I know they do offer dessert because I saw dessert being served to like some of the anniversary couples and stuff like that. I saw it, um, but it wasn't on the menu. And we I mean, separate menu. They they they, I, they, they probably they have a separate menu. We weren't offered it, but we were. Well, we asked for the we asked for the we check. asked for the check because we wanted to get on to the next thing. And we, we and were like short said, we on time, we hungry. and we were so full after dinner. So, um. Yeah, it was good. Oh, we had a couple um, of cocktails. I know we had one that was really popular that is here in Aruba that was uh, recommended was the Aruba Arishi. Um, so, yeah, got to try that when you come. And they gave you sparkling wine when you get there. She said our reservation came with the sparkling wine. I don't know it, what the difference is. I don't know. I just made it the reservation on open table, to be honest. And then Aruba overall, what'd you think? I had a good time. Um, you know, I felt, I mean, we, we were trying to fit so much in. Um, and so we were a little rushed, but we did that to, we do that to ourselves and we're not the type really. And I guess it's a good thing uh, for the vlog is that we're not the type that want to just go sit on a beach or just go do one thing. We do want to try and experience many different things wherever we are. Um, so, you know, we were a bit rushed and we didn't get, but we, again, we do, we do that to ourselves yeah. because, you know, and I, and I always joke around and say, it's all for you. It's all for you guys, but it really is. Um, because, you know, we want to bring, bring you guys a bunch of different content as opposed to if it were just me, it would just, you know, I'd go to a beach and, you know, snorkel and, you know, not me. Right. But I'm saying. I would, I would still try and fit as much in as I could in one day. That's me. That's how I am. Because I have this, like, I'm never, I may never come back here, so I got to see it all. Right. And I need to know no, it all. I understand that. And I, I'm, so I'm I do, just, I do that. In many ways, I am the same. I do that a lot. So, um, I did have a long list. I figured we probably wouldn't get to everything. And I never, I can account exactly for how much Brent is going to talk to other people that we meet as we go along. Because He's very social, and that's okay though. But um, so it's always hard to account for that. Um, and then also, yeah, you know, 
just, you never get, it always, everything always takes longer than you think it will. So, um, but I still think, I mean, we had like seven or eight stops, you know, we, we did seven or eight different yep. things on the island. Definitely we'll have to come back and finish my list at some point. Um, I don't know that Aruba is one of my favorite islands. I do think the water is so yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. And a lot of the beaches, the sand is just perfect. Um, Sorry, I have to keep switching my arms. I know that gets tired because I, I talk a lot. Um, but I do think the water is beautiful and the beaches are wonderful. So if that is one of your top priorities, 100%. Um, just for me personally, of the Caribbean islands, I don't. I need to come spend more more time here. I think um, I did really like the Palm Beach like nightlife area. I wish we could have spent more time there this evening. I would like to see a couple of the other beaches that I know about that we didn't get to go to. Um, the arid climate or the arid desert like part and the cactus and stuff like it doesn't appeal to me. Just personally, I like more tropical I foliage, I guess, or whatever, I agree. or whatever. So, um, you know, it, it was kind of cool to see, but at the same time, like that's enough for me. And I feel it's a very Americanized island. Yeah. There's a lot of American it, influence. It, it's influence. Like, I mean, it's I don't know. It felt very much more like just an American island than. A lot of the other Caribbean islands, you know. I yeah. mean, there's literally an American chain store everywhere you look. So they have every single American. They even have a Quiznos. Yeah, um. <laughs> I, I love Quiznos, and honestly, but I, you know, I, I would love to. I would have loved to have gone and eaten at one of the Quiznos. Love so, Quiznos. But yeah, I and mean, of course, they don't exist in America anymore. So. But Aruba, is, I will say, everybody always says the people are wonderful. Mm -hmm. And um, it felt very safe, and um, I can't complain at all. I just, you know, maybe it's not in my top five. But that's well, personal preference. Yeah. But again, the beach probably would be in top five. All right. Well, we are going to sign off for now and get to bed because we've got to be up at 7-something in the morning to be off the ship at 8. So... You have to be up at 7. I'll have to be up before then. You don't have to be. Just you, It's your decision. I will not be ready at 8 if I don't. If I get up at 7. All right. Well, that's your decision. All right. We have lots to do. All right. Well, till then, good night.